Right, so remember those movies like Rush Hour where the bad guys would kidnap the diplomat's daughter and, ran and hold a ransom for a billion dollars? Yeah, we all remember that. Well, it's been a few years and while the bad guys aren't targeting people, they've resorted to kidnapping your digital information. Ransomware is what it's called. It's a new malware that allows criminals to hold computers and data hostage. And they've done this to hospitals and universities, forcing some to stop using their PCs entirely and others to pay up. Now, this morning in studio, we have Tyron Erasmus, the director of MWR Info Security, to explain just how they are doing it. Tyron, thank you so much for joining us this morning, man. Oh, pleasure. It's a scary world, man, to, <laughs> that we live in. This is crazy. Ransomware. How, do you, how would you explain it? What exactly is it? Okay, so I think ransomware is a type of malware that when it executes on your computer, it holds some sort of digital asset on your computer to hostage until you pay... Um, you know, the ransom amount. Wow, okay. Um, so yeah, I suppose what this, what this normally looks like in the case of crypto ransomware is that it encrypts all the files on your computer and then literally it just puts a ransom note there for you saying, okay, if you, you know, pay this amount, it's normally in Bitcoin, so like a, you know, virtual or a, a cryptocurrency, yeah. and you pay a certain address and then you can get your files back. So it's, it's digital extortion, really. That is crazy, man. So, so who's, who exactly is at risk? Um, is it, you know, are we talking big companies? Can it be individuals at home using just a normal PC? Yeah, so that's sort of the scary thing about it is that it's, uh, you know, across the board. It's, uh, it's home users, it's businesses, um, pretty much anyone, you know, you can, uh, and the scary thing is that it, it doesn't even need, um, you know, you can buy these ransomware kits uh, and you don't even need to be a technical attacker to do this. You can buy these kits, send an email and get your payment. Yeah, so these guys can literally target, let's say they get, mm. you know, get to know you or know of you, they can literally target you, is that correct? Yeah, so I mean, normally how ransomware is delivered is via email, just mm. malicious email attachments or uh, you know, visiting a website, if you have an outdated browser or an out you know, outdated operating system, there's ways to actually exploit that computer and execute that ransomware. Okay. Now, now how do we protect ourselves? Um, what are some of the things that you maybe need to put in place, you know, maybe as an individual, as a business, to ensure that you are not a victim of this ransomware? So I think it's, uh, you know, the difference between home users and business, this sort of different okay. device. For a, for a typical home user, just, you know, good security hygiene. So keeping all of your software up to date, keeping your antivirus up to date, um, you know, using a, a respectable browser like um, Google Chrome that really has security in mind uh, really goes a long way. For businesses, it's, uh, it's quite a different story. There's, uh, you know, we like to, to say to keep, um, you know, multiple layers of security in place to really, uh, you know, and it's, mm. a, it's a difficult problem. If your PC, if, if you're unfortunate enough to, be, to have been kind of a target of ransomware, if it's been infected, what do you need to do? I mean, is there any way of rectifying it? Do you just have to pay the ransom or, or what do you need to do? Yeah, and, and th that really depends on the type of ransomware that okay. infected your computer. So some ransomware is poorly written and so you are able to actually find a way to decrypt your files. Other, well, the vast majority of ransomware these days is actually very well written. So yeah. uh, you unfortunately are left with two choices, and that is uh, you know, pay the ransom or um, suffer the data loss. And if you're lucky enough to have your, your data backed up, obviously that's first prize. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So once again, just uh, so, so advice. I mean, what would your top advice be you know, for people you know, uh, at home maybe, uh, even for businesses, to, to prevent you know, this from happening from them? Okay, so yeah, I think good security hygiene. So that means okay. latest versions of operating systems, latest versions of software, up-to-date antivirus, um, even just normal, you know, good advice, not sharing passwords between different websites. Yeah, um, yeah just really good hygiene, I'd, I'd say, is, is for home users the, the best way. And then if you're in doubt, call the experts. <laughs> like Tyrone. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Well, I think you pleasure. made me a little bit nervous here this morning. <laughs> I want to rush back and go check everything. Let's make sure that's in order. Very, very interesting indeed. Ransomware, that's what we spoke about this morning. And always remember, you can share your stories with us by posting on our Expresso social media feeds, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3 on Twitter, and at Facebook, and at Expresso Show on Twitter.